Blum and highlighting the victimology and how Mr. Rick Blum coerced each woman to change their behaviour with these false promises, having isolated them, and that each time the only person who would benefit from this behaviour consistently was him. Because again, when you look at the power imbalance and what's going on, it's about well, who benefits to understand what's really happening. And I mentioned to you in, in that same email that I believe that he had escalated his behaviour and with each woman he was perfecting what I call his tradecraft. He was learning, as criminals do. They learn what works and what doesn't. But I just went back through that email and I said that these were power and control related crimes, but it was not just about the money. Not just about the money. And I also said that, and it's a blinding glimpse of the obvious, but I hadn't found any single piece of evidence that pointed to Marion still being alive. 